Hey YouTube, NK Beauty here. Hope everybody's having a really good day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this look using the Vice 3 palette. Um, I was so excited to start using this. This is the first time I ever use it. I had no idea what I was going to do but sort of went along on the way and I mean there's not really much to say. If you guys want to learn how to recreate this look just keep watching. Enjoy! Now for this video I've already started with my base, all the products used will be listed in the description box below. I'm really excited to start using this palette, this is the first time that I use it as mentioned before. The good thing about it is it has a really wide range of colours so that you don't actually need any other palettes if you wanted to just purchase this one as a first one. It has all the neutrals, all the cool tones, all the warm tones and a bunch of other things as well. So starting off, as usual, I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over the lid. Then jumping straight in with the Vice 3 palette and the shade DTF, I'll be applying that to the crease. Extend the crease a little bit in the inner corners, you do want to give it that really nice sculpted effect. Now I like to map out what I'm going to be doing. Now because I'm going to be creating a cat eye shape, I will just put that line there. Afterwards just grab a clean blending brush and blend everything out. After DTF, I'll be taking the shade downfall and just applying it just over where I put DTF. Again, blend this out with a clean blending brush. I'm then going to be taking the shade Rain just to deepen up the look slightly, applying it just in the crease just like we did with DTF. Blend everything out with a clean blending brush and then take the colour Truth just to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. Apply that just under the brow bone and bring it down slightly so that it mixes in with the other colours. I'm then going to be taking the lighter shade in the palette which is Bobbi Dazzle and just applying that in the inner corners. And as a quick review while you're watching this, I absolutely love all of the shades in this palette however I do feel like some of them do need some sort of a white base underneath just to make the colours really pop. Then taking the shade Alchemy I'm going to be applying that just next to Bobby Dazzle. Make sure that you blend all the colours in together so that we have a nice gradient effect. After that, take bondage and apply that right in the outer corners, bringing it in to mix with alchemy. I then took a little bit more of that alchemy shade and blended it in with bondage just to have that better gradient effect. If you feel like you've made a mess, don't hesitate to go in with a wipe just to wipe away anything that you feel like isn't in place properly. 
I'm then going to be taking a colour completely out of the colour scheme that I've been using, taking the shade Dragon and just applying that on my bottom lash line for that pop of colour. If you get any fallout, just take a fan brush and brush it away. Taking a black liner, this is one that I used in my previous video called Vulse and this is one made in Germany. I actually get it from my country so I'm not sure where you can get this but any black liner will do. Just line your inner waterline just to give it that really dark effect. Now taking Soap and Glory's Super Cat Liner, I'm going to be lining my top lid, just winging it out very nicely. And my camera stopped. I don't know why my camera does this quite often actually, it stops recording so I didn't actually manage to get the full clip of this, so I do apologise. Then taking my eyelash curlers, I'm just going to be curling my lashes, then coating them with a couple coats of mascara. Make sure you do your bottom lashes too because that will really open up your eyes and make them seem bigger. And for once I am going to be taking false lashes guys, <laughs> can you believe it? I'm going to be using false lashes in this look just because I really want that dramatic effect. And while we're waiting for the lash glue to dry we might as well have a little sweet, right? <laughs> I'm then going to be taking NYX blush and applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And while I'm at it, I'm going to dig a huge hole in the shade Undone in my palette. You guys saw my reaction. Oh my god, I was so annoyed. I literally dug a chunk out of the shade. I think it's safe to say, watch out, do not make the same mistake as I did. Then taking MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish, wow that is a mouthful, and just applying that on my cheekbones. I love this because it gives such an amazing natural glow to the skin. I'm then going to be taking a sleek lip liner in the shade Venom and just lining my lips with that. I do want to create a gradient effect with my lips this time, so I won't be filling my entire lip in with the shade. Then I'll be taking a matte lipstick by NYX and just applying that to the centre of the lips, sort of blending it outwards so that it blends nicely with the deeper colour. Then taking a butter gloss by NYX, I'm just going to be applying that on top just to give it that really nice shiny glossy look. And that is it for the look i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to rate comment and subscribe i do post videos every monday and thursday hope you guys have a lovely day bye